Hello friend, happy Bisexual Awareness Week! This is one of my favorite weeks for many reasons, um, primarily because I like talking about bi things, and this is a week when lots of people are talking about bi things. As you and I both know, the LGBT rights movement has been very L and G in the past. Uh, the B and the T are not so often represented, and so it's really nice to see droves of people coming out for Bi Awareness Week. This is one of the first, uh, first years that it's happening, it's still kind of a new thing. Celebrate Bisexuality Day is on September 23rd, and that is the ultimate day when we can all wear our bi pride colors and wear our flags to work if your work allows you to do that and if it doesn't or if you're not out then don't feel like you have to. The most important thing that I want to say about Bi Awareness Week though is that there are a couple of little changes that we can all make in our day-to-day -day behaviors and actions and language that actually make a really big difference for bi inclusivity and affirmation and celebration and awareness and all of those uh, words that get wrapped up into a week like Bi Awareness Week. And it can be really simple things. So one example is not saying gay marriage but saying same-sex marriage. And the reason why that is is because if two women or two men are married, it does not mean they are gay. So like, I'm bisexual, right? So I'm probably gonna marry a woman one day if my life goes down the trajectory that I expect. And when I do that, I'm not gonna be in a gay marriage because I'm not technically gay. There are tons and tons of people who are in, who are bisexual and who are in marriages or relationships who are not in gay or straight relationships because that's not something that fits with them. And not even, like you don't categorize the relationship based on the identities of the people who are in it. Like, I don't know, like my girlfriend's a lesbian and I'm bi and we don't talk about ourselves as like a, a bi and lesbian couple. We're just like, we're, we're ladies who are in love. So another example of this is the gay rights movement. There is such a thing as the gay rights movement and it is a movement that focuses only on the rights of gay people. So for that reason, it is not an ideal movement uh, because many of us who are in need of legal and social and political advocacy and equality, which is everybody, do not identify as gay. Sometimes the movement does look like it's just the gay rights movement, um, but one of the ways that we can make sure that it is much more than that, that it is LGBTQIA every other letter you can name of is to not talk about uh, the gay rights movement but talk about it as the equality movement, the liberation movement, whatever realm you want to look at and however you want to approach that activism, just make sure you're not limiting it to one identity. I realize some of you are going to call me on that because the name of my blog is Gay Rights but I've talked about that a little bit about why I called it that five years ago and why I'm not going to change that name so if you want to talk about that I will link to, to that in the doobly-doo, um, the post where I explained it, and I'm happy to talk about it more. Another way you could help is to read up on bi issues because they actually are separate from lesbian and gay issues in a lot of ways. There's a lot of overlap, obviously. I mean, things like marriage equality and anything in general where, uh, where protection is linked to sexual orientation, then that's going to link LGB people all together, L, G, and B, yes. There are some studies that have been done specifically on bi populations, not enough of them. There's so much more information out there about lesbian and gay populations but what we do know about bi people is that uh, the circumstances are not great for a lot of us and that might be counterintuitive or sound wrong to some people uh, because a lot of people still think that bi's have it easy because we have this straight passing privilege right because if I just dated a boy and married a boy then I would not have to worry about marriage equality or workplace equality ever again but to look at it that way is really limiting and really offensive to those of us who you know, who still, who maybe are in relationships with people of the same sex and plan to pursue those relationships for the rest of our lives, still identifying as bi, or for those of us who perhaps are dating people of another gender, who still want that queer community because they face, they you know, they have faced issues as a bi person in their past or because they're still struggling with stuff internally. We have to think about bi inclusivity and acceptance and awareness as so much more than something circumstantial. Like a bi person shouldn't be welcome into a queer space only if they show up with like their same sex partner to prove that they are, you know, that they're gay in that moment because that's not really how it works. There's so much more to bisexual identity and experience and culture than just the person that you happen to be dating at that time. So again, kind of, kind of go full circle, read up on those bi issues. Part of that is gonna be like data and studies and reports and whatnot, but part of that is also just 
first person works uh, written by bi people, read personal essays by bi people, read things written by bi people of color, by trans bi people, by religious bi people, by bisexual people from rural communities or different socioeconomic classes as yours. There is so much great writing out there and so many incredible experiences that are there for you to connect with. I have listed a couple of my favorites below, but the internet is yours. There's so much out there. Please, please, please just Go find it, I'll help you, let's do it together. So with that said, um, happy Bi Awareness Week. I am so happy to be sharing it with all of you. Thank you for your patience because I've been off YouTube for a little bit, but I am happy to be back and hoping to be back with more frequency. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. I love all of you and I'm sending extra special love to my Bi people this week. Mwah. You're all perfect and wonderful exactly as you are. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. And it could be, the fridge turned on, I haven't made a video in so long, I forgot that that happened.